hi everyone welcome back to the channel so today in this uds protocol series i will be mainly focusing on communication control specifically command is uh, this uh, 28 so if you are following along with our uds series you, uh, you won't want to uh, miss this one and if you haven't got our previous videos on security access make sure to check out the uds playlist uh, linked in the description below so in this uh, uh, communication control i will talk about what is communication control uh, service id and uh, service and uh, why do we use this communication control so let's get started so uh, so if i talk about uh, so communication control so request id is 28 and response is 68 and it has two sub functions enable uh, 00 and 01 so first let's what is communication uh, control <clears throat> so it is basically uh, used for controlling transmission and uh, reception of the ecus okay and it is supported in extended session only so if uh, let's say uh, uh, if i talk about a real world example uh, let's say there, there is a patient and uh, it has to uh, and patient has to do some uh, diagnostic uh, okay so uh, that ambulance 108 follows the general traffic and go along with the traffic okay so uh, ambulance might not be reached on time uh, so another way is to stop the traffic uh, so the uh, so another way is to stop the traffic or make green corridor to reach on time so in the same way when vehicle is taken to the uh, diagnostic session okay in uh, there is some issue in vehicle and you want to do some uh, diagnostic uh, session so if there is communication of multiple messages like uh, in uh, traffic uh, there is uh, multiple vehicles so we have to stop uh, vehicles right to make the green cor uh, corridor so if there is communication of multiple messages from tester from tester tool to ECU then diagnostic message will be lowest priority so in so in the in that case you will not be able to uh, perform uh, diagnostic so to avoid this uh, problem we will have to stop uh, application communication message uh, and that way canvas will be idle then diagnostic message will win uh, arbitration so if there are multiple messages are transmitting like uh, abs fcm fc B, uh, bcm then uh, there there might be a chances of diagnostic diagnostic messages will not come to the desired ecu or uh, there are or there or there will be latency so to avoid this type of latency all the ecus are switched off to make can bus idle so that's how communication control works you can also think like a uh, city is a car like i have shown you this example like this so so in communication control uh, there are two uh, there are two sub functions uh, 00 and 01 so communication control can be sent to all ecus in one shot since communication control is stopping all the messages so ecu needs needs to be unlocked so uh, we have to perform security access for this so again that's why i have explained security access uh, earlier uh, and and after uh, and after the security access i am going to explain communication control so if you haven't watched uh, this uh, security access video you can uh, check uh, this video link in the description box so you remember just uh, zero zero it means enable rx and tx and zero one enable rx and disable tx so just remember it will be uh, visible in the, in the in the next slide so communication control if you are uh, requesting sid okay we are requesting 2801 so always when whenever you are you will be performing a communication control on uh, ecu so always uh, use this uh, 2101 first 2801 this will enable rx okay and disable tx 
okay so you will not be able to transmit the messages from uh, that all the transmitting message will be stopped or disabled only uh, you will uh, receive you will be able to receive the messages from the ecus okay so uh, then you will get this 6801 response so once you, and then uh, after performing this uh, steps uh, 2801 enable rx and disable tx once uh, uh, after performing this you can start uh, vehicle diagnostic and <clears throat> if uh, uh, negative response is received like vehicle is moving or sub function not supported then this uh, type of an rc you will get if you haven't done security access so security access denied nrc you will get okay so once this uh, 2801 is done then you can perform this one so after now uh, you have done your diag uh, your vehicles diagnostic then you can uh, send this 2800 uh, request to enable rx and tx so this means 2800 means here I enable RX00 means enable risk RX and TX receiving transmitting messages. Okay. So here a positive response will be received 6800. So, uh, so, uh, so like this you can stop all the uh, TX messages and do your diagnostic and then again uh, enable uh, uh, RX and uh, TX messages like rx and tx messages in communication control and in negative response can same this type of nrc will be uh, will be uh, you will receive so it is uh, used mainly in programming or refreshing the ecus when uh, you are uh, when you are flashing refreshing the software or refreshing the ecus so in that case communication control uh, mainly will be used so th this is how communication control works in UDS. So this is the uh, or or I have just given overview or uh, basic uh, and also I have given one real world example to connect with this uh, uh, terminology. So in the next video I will explain about read data by identifier.